Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Ah, what a week. <laughs> it's been a wild ride this week. But, uh, yeah. Um, I wanted to get on and kind of show you some things that I've been making. And I actually have a whip. I don't usually show whips, as you know. But um, I thought maybe I would do that, you know. Just so you guys don't think I'm not doing anything. <laughs> um, oh, again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you uh, for all your well wishes. And they just keep pouring in. Um, and thank you to all of my new Yarnabees. Holy cow. Um, I hit my 3,000 subscribers, guys. Like, what? I I am absolutely blown away. Uh, but I, I'm going to do another video about that. And I'm going to have Crochet B come on with me. And, uh, and we'll talk about that there. For all of my new people, um, I'll just catch you up a little bit. I call all of my subscribers Yarnabees. Okay. There's along there's a story behind all of that from way back when I started um and uh and I came up with like okay my husband George who you'll see on these videos from time to time he even has his own segment on my channel um and it's a carpet trails um segment he's a carpet cleaner so he kind of tells you you know some stories that he has come across in his journey as a carpet cleaner. Um, so, uh, so you'll see him from time to time. And where was I going with that? <sighs> I tell you, you guys, my brain has just been crazy. Oh, I know. <laughs> so anyway, so I call, I call, um, you guys, my Yarnabees. And ever since then, I get gifts and everything with bees on them. <laughs> and um, that seems to be my my shtick now is bees. <laughs> so <laughs> it didn't start out that way. Um, I'm Canadian, so I had like Canadian flags and everything and red what was my thing. And then... Um, this thing, whole thing happened where, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. <laughs> so I guess bees are my thing. Um, and so with my channel being called Crochet A Canada, uh, one of our wonderful yarn of bees had coined George's name Crochet B. So... <laughs> So, so it's crochet A and crochet B. So yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> but anyways, so that's, uh, that's one thing. Um, what else can I tell you guys about crochet A Canada? We're crazy up in here. <laughs> we're just, you know, I, I, yeah, we're crazy up in here. That's all I got to say. <laughs> so um, I have the most loyal, wonderful subscribers ever. I have never personally had issues with anybody, really. Um, and it's been an absolute joy to be a content creator. Unfortunately, as you saw in my last couple videos, there's a lot of crap going on in the YouTube streets and a lot of my friends are having issues. So I always try to stand up for my friends, support my friends and, um, yeah, try to stop the hate. So anyway, um, I have tutorials on my channel. The link, the, the playlist is down below. I have tutorials. I have an Etsy page. I have a couple of Etsy pages. Um, I have some patterns for hats on my Etsy page. 
Uh, I also have an Etsy page for, I, I've started making jewelry again and I'm selling crystals as well and some um, sun catchers and all that kind of stuff. So that link is down below as well. My sister, oh, I could do a whole video on my sister. Um, <clears throat> a couple of years ago, my sister was diagnosed with Wegner's, cerebral Wegner's disease. She had four brain surgeries in two months. Um, we almost lost her. It was crazy. It was a whirlwind. Um, and all of my yarn and bees helped, su like, supported us and gave us so much love. And so, I mean, it, it was just wonderful. And so I have a playlist down below about my sister's journey with Wagner's. Um, oh. So much has gone. I've been on YouTube now for three years. This is our, going into our fourth year, I think. Um, and it has been a crazy ride. It has been so much fun being, being a creator for you guys. Um, yeah. I was flipping through all of my videos from before, all of my old videos, and wow, I've put out a lot of videos. <laughs> there is stuff that I completely forgot about, uh, like just crazy. Um, I had foot surgery. I had a, a scooter thing that I, a knee scooter that I used to go around on, and um, our yarn bees uh called it the tominator i had a whole giveaway for that um it was <laughs> it was crazy so yeah so stick around stay tuned because um it's a lot of fun here <laughs> it really is there are some times when i get mel melancholy and all of that but don't we all you know and the one thing that a lot of my Yarnabies have said to me in the comments and in emails is they love the fact that I'm real, that I don't sugarcoat things, that I don't, um, I'm not fake and I'm going to keep that going. I, I am because that's who I am, you know? Yeah. So anyway, okay. I think I've caught everybody up. <laughs> And if, the, if I haven't caught everybody up, leave, leave comments down below for all the new people. And uh, yeah. Okay. So let's get started. <sighs> the winter season has begun. Yes. Uh, last week, it was sunny and warm and t-shirt weather. This week, it's rainy, cold, wet and definitely winter is upon us. <laughs> we haven't put the heat on yet, which, because we need to get more oil. Um, but I'm seriously considering on putting our fireplace on. <sighs> like, I just, once we do that, we can't go back, man. It's like, once you start doing the fireplace thing, then you're screwed. You got to keep going with it. <laughs> And I'm trying to hold out for as long as I can. <laughs> I'll put socks on. I hate wearing socks, but I'll put socks and sweaters on. <laughs> so anyway, um, so having said that, in uh, two weeks, the first weekend of November, it's the first craft fair that we are doing. We're doing three craft fairs uh, in November, but they're all three day craft fairs. It's going to be interesting. So we've started pulling all the totes up from downstairs and seeing what stock we had left from last year and what new stock we have. And I had to start tagging everything and, and putting everything into the proper totes and, Holy Hannah. I think I have a picture on my phone of what the room looked like, the living room looked like. So I'll probably insert that. Um, 
yeah, it, <laughs> it looked like a bomb went off in our, our living room. It was crazy. So, um, I think I've got a handle on it now. Uh, and so I started making scooties again and a scootie is a hooded cowl. Um, I designed one, uh, years ago and I do have the pattern up on my Etsy page. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys some of the ones that I've been making. I use, uh, anywhere between four and six weight yarn for them. Um, I got a pile of stuff here that I want to show you guys. So I got, oh, I got to move some stuff around here. Oh, oh, and everything's falling. This room, you guys, oh, when Christmas season starts, because I, I do in December, I do, um, Vlogmas, and I do a, a gift opening with a, a, a content creator. This year, I'm doing it with Angela from the Precious Yarnery. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> um, last year, I did it with a couple of people. I did it with Billy the Crafty Floridian. I've done it with Sandy. Um, uh, oh, my God. Sandy Duda from Leftist Right Crochet. I've done it with um, uh, Rosalie from Yarn It Out. Uh, I sent a surprise package to Jennifer Cinnamon Stitches one year. Um, so every year I try to change it up. I made the mistake of doing it with three people all in one year, uh, all in one month. And that was crazy. I mean, it, it was nuts and I'm not going to do that again. So I'm sticking to one person this year. Uh, and I think every year I'm going to switch it up and chain and do it with different people. So, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So here we go. Here is one of them. And I can't tell you for the life of me what yarn all this is because it, you know, it's just one of those things. I'll try, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's this one. Okay. Now this fur, actually, I should have brought some out. Hang on. Oh, I have a couple of different furs I use, but for the most part, I use red heart fur. Um, or red heart boutique. I don't like red heart boutique, though. I don't even think they make it anymore, to be honest. Um, I know. Oops. Yeah, it's Red Heart Boutique for, I think it's called. Um, oh, and I'm dropping stuff. Um, I know that Hobby Lobby has a fur. I forget what it's called. Um, oh, got him. I'm a mess today, you guys. I'm a mess. So, yeah, Red Heart fur is pretty much what I use. Um... I used to braid my tassels uh, or strings, but now I've got a, oh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, what's it called, you guys? Anyways, I'll put it here. I get mine from Furls, um, and it makes these and, and breeds them. Um, it's quick, easy, like it's, it made my life so much easier because the one thing about these scooties that I hated with a passion, you would think it would be putting on the fur, but it wasn't. It was making these tails. I hated it. I wanted to hire my sister to do it for me. <laughs> um, so when I found out about this product, and I think you can get them on Amazon, you can get them like cheaper on Amazon and everything. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And 
they saved my butt when it came to this. It made it so much easier and so much more fun uh, to make them. So, um, and if I heard you could use a fork to do them too. I was like, what? Oh, yeah, crazy. So anyways, <clears throat> so I made that one. One, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. And I made this one. Um, what yarn was this? Nope, don't remember. So, <clears throat> made that one. Now, I find that in craft fairs, the colors that usually sell the fastest is black, white, red, purple. Every year. I took a couple years off of making these because it just, after making them for so many years and George was like, you got to make more, you got to make more. And I, I mean, I was selling them so fast. That I wasn't, I didn't even have them done. I was, um, sitting at a craft fair making them while George was selling stuff. And people were saying, I want that one before you're finished or when you're finished. And I was like, like it was crazy. So I took a couple of years off. And now I'm starting to do them again. And I'm starting to get more creative with them because this was the basic scooty that I used to use, that used to do. Okay, this is the this is the scooty that's in the pattern. Um, so I started changing it up a bit. Like this one, I started doing a bobble stitch on it. Wow, isn't that vibrant? Holy smokes. Oh. Mail call. <laughs> so that's um that's kind of what I've been doing. I started off doing um oops. I started off doing a uh, third loop so that oh you can't really tell on this one. But anyways, that this is where is it? Ooh, I know what yarn this is. Oh, this is Premier Serenity. And yeah, so that's how that came out. Um, I did that one with the white fur and then I did this one with the black fur. So you can see the difference it comes out like a totally different scooty just by changing up the fur okay so I started doing like this and this is oh it's up there hang on if you can see oop, it's really hard to see on this camera oh there we go you can see I did the third loop, um, not just the back loop. I did the third loop. So it gives you those ridges. And then I started going into doing, trying baubles and stuff like that. And that yarn, I am so unprepared, you guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> that is Charisma from Loops and Threads from Michaels. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, good Lord. I tell you. Um, oh, that's all. Okay. So I've made some other ones that are, are packed up, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of um, the ones that I've been making. I, look at this. This used to be my painting. I, I totally other thing, but anyways, I poured paint on it. Um, so I like to use thicker yarn obviously for these because it goes so much faster and then I use like an eight eight or nine uh, millimeter hook 
is then it gives it that squish factor. Like this hat, same thing. I think I have the pattern for this on my Etsy as well. Um, it's It just gives it more of a squish factor. So, uh, I have a bunch of toy box yarn that I got for, from Aberdeen's Wool Company. But it's bright orange. And I just don't know if it would sell as a scooty. I think I would rather make it into a sweater or something. Um, because I know... I, I noticed like everybody's jacket is different in the winter time, right? But for the most part, they're darker colors and they're, you know, so people don't really want bright colors, excuse me, for their hats and scooties. Some people do, but most people don't from what, from my experience. Okay. Um, I'm working on a sweater. I usually have like a couple of ways, sorry, I'm trying to untangle here. I usually have a couple of ways that I do my tutorials for sweaters. Um, but this one is completely different than any uh, type of pattern that I've ever done. Okay, this is not my pattern, by the way. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it is kind of, but the, the construction of it is totally different. I usually I'll do, I, I hate doing panels because I hate sewing them together because half the time they don't line up and it's just the, I hate it. But if I was going to do one, I would do the back panel, the two side panels and the arms, right? Um, but for the most part, like if I'm doing a cardigan, uh, what I will do is, um, I will make the back panel and then I will continue the two side panels all in one, kind of all in one piece. Um, or I will do one panel that goes up and around and down and then do another panel that goes up and around and down and then stitch it up the back and then do the sleeves with this one it goes around so it's a long piece but it goes around your back and around to your front and then there's the space in the front i've never done that and i'm going huh let's try it so <clears throat> It's a, it's a work in progress for sure. So I'm doing, there's the long piece here. So it goes around the back and then folds in the front. Okay. I'm doing the waffle stitch. Hopefully you can tell or you can see, can you see that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's going to take me a while to do this because it's like, the whole sweater aside from the sleeves is all getting done at once and I've got other things that I'm working on right now this is not going to be a sweater probably for the craft fairs it's um it's just it's something that will give me a break from everything else that I'm trying to make um so it'll be interesting to see how this comes out because, uh, yeah, because uh, I got to figure out the armholes and the, like, it's, yeah, this is going to be a test for me. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. For this one, I am using Premier, uh, Pre Bl <sighs> Bernat Premium. And this color is da -da -da -da, teal. It's darker than that. It's not, it's not so, yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, and I'm using Red Heart Ogo. I, last year, I got a whole bunch of, of Ogo gifted to me from Jeanette, from Miss Hootie Hootenan's Crafts. And then I also found at Walmart, I found these Ogos 
on sale for like five bucks. And I was like, oh yeah. Um, and they've just been sitting and I've been going, okay, I got to start using these up. So I started using them on this. So hopefully it will all work out. All right. Oh, <clears throat> next thing. I am very proud of this. <laughs> very proud of this. Um, Billy the Crafty Floridian just did a video um, saying that uh, for, a for a lot of us, we've already heard that um, Sherry K. Crochet it has lost her daughter suddenly. Um, she left behind two small children and her husband, and it's heartbreaking. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a bunch of the content creators got together and did a fundraiser for her and for to help with funeral expenses. <clears throat> and they came, I think they came up with $10,000. They were, they're aiming for 20 and I was just blown away. Absolutely blown away. Uh, so Billy has decided that she wants to do an auction as well. And that's coming up. Uh, I forget the dates off the top of my head right now. But I will put that link down below for you if you would like to get involved. So I decided that I wanted to give something to Billy, uh, for the auction. And so I made this and I'm, I'm hoping that when she auctions it, it's going to get a really good price for it and help support this family. So look at this. Oh, you guys. Look how bright and cheerful that is. Oh. So this hoodie is for uh, six to six to nine months. Um, oh, I just love this. <laughs> I think I'm going to make another one. Um, but yeah, it's six to nine months. It was used, it was made from the new Vivid yarn. Um, Sweet Roll Vivid. There we go. I had to think about that for a second. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was called Lava, Lava Lamp, Lava, Lava Lamp. Anyway, uh, yarn and it, I think it turned out gorgeous. Look, I can't believe how bright this is. You know, it's so pretty. I am so proud of myself, you know. So this is going to be auctioned off. I know that there's a lot of you out there that um, don't make wearables and have grandbaby, new grandbabies coming, whether it be your first or your 12th. <laughs> um, so please go and support Billy um, and... Uh, if you'd like to bid on this, that would be great. Um, yeah. Oops. Oh, avalanche. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I've got a few videos coming up. One of which is heartbreaking for me. Um, actually, a couple, a couple of videos is heartbreaking for me. But um, I... I touched on this a little bit um, a couple of weeks ago and I've gotten permission to talk about it but um, I was telling I was I think I mentioned in my video that there was some family stuff going on but <clears throat> I couldn't say anything at the time um, as you guys know, my daughter is pregnant. 
with our first grandchild. She's due in December. Shortly after we found out about that, we found out that my niece, Michelle, is also pregnant and she's going to be due in April. Um, and she, they're four, so they're four months apart. Whole big story about that as well. <laughs> um, and we couldn't be happier. We were just over the moon. The day that I did the video where I was telling you guys about my niece, because we were waiting for her to get to a certain point in her pregnancy before we could announce it. The day after we announced her, her pregnancy, Michelle was rushed to the hospital. Oh, try not to get emotional. <clears throat> Um, Michelle was rushed to the hospital with bad pains. Um, she was throwing up. She was really sick. She's, she's had a rough pregnancy, uh, with morning sickness and her emotions going crazy and everything. So she was rushed to the hospital and they found out that she had appendicitis <clears throat> And so she was in the hospital for like a week or something and they did ultrasounds and everything. And what they think happened uh, or what we, what Michelle thinks happened was when they were pushing on her stomach to get the ultrasound, they burst her appendix. Um, she was rushed into emerge into the OR to have her appendix removed and <clears throat> um she she was pretty sick she was really sick they there was still infection there's still infection going on in there that they're trying to control um and then right after that uh all the information's on my phone and I'm videoing on my phone. But basically, um, something that was common that happens is, I'll put the word right here, but it's um, your intestines will collapse and um, not let things go through. And, you know, it's, it's something that happens after surgery, apparently. <clears throat> So she was dealing with that and they were trying to get all that going. Um, she had, her fevers were going up and down. Um, it, it was just, it was crazy. And then after her being in the hospital for a couple of weeks, they decided that like she was on, she had tubes coming out of everywhere and she was on heavy painkillers and everything. And then um, they were waiting for her to eliminate. Uh, I don't want to be gross, but, you know, fart and stuff like that. And because everything was collapsed, she couldn't. So they were trying to get the swelling down and trying to get that fixed so that she could. Once she did that, then they said that she could go home. They sent her home. Within 24 hours, she was rushed back to emergency. She was having back pain. And then they found out that she had a abscess. Um, but they couldn't find out where in her body the abscess was. Ugh. Um, in order to find that out, they would have had to do a um, MRI. I think it was, and they can't do that well when she's pregnant. So <clears throat> throughout all this, they were monitoring her pregnancy. Baby was fine. Um, baby's like a champ. Um, she sent me the ultrasound pictures, her first ultrasound pictures, and I'll put that picture here. Um, so baby is doing great. Michelle, not so much. Um, she's really struggled for this duration. Um, and then, <clears throat> God, 
They sent her back home, I think, and then she was rushed to emergency again. Ugh. Then they find out that she has pancreatitis. Oh my God, you guys. Um, in my heart, I'm thinking that this all happened for a reason. Michelle has suffered from pain, stomach pains and everything for a couple of years now, and they haven't done anything about it. Um, they, they keep saying, well, we don't know what's wrong, blah, 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 you know, and they just, you know, say here, take this pill or whatever, and then send her home. Um, because she's pregnant, it has forced them to look deeper and to figure out what is really wrong with her. So in a sense, this baby has been a blessing because they are now are taking notice of what's happening to her body and trying to fix it. So she's still in the hospital. Um, I mean, this is going on like a month. It's, it's crazy. Um, she's going stir crazy in the hospital. She's trying to crochet, but you know, when you're in the hospital and you have no one to talk to and the fact that, you know, they aren't letting people in the hospital if you're not vaccinated. And, you know, my sister's, she's got Wegner's and she's supposed to be going for IVs. So she doesn't, she doesn't want to be, you know, catching anything. Cause if she catches something, then she can't get her IV and that's detrimental to her health and just, oh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. So I'm hoping that Michelle's got a lot of crochet uh, yarn and stuff in her room that she can um, deal with. I think at last I heard she was making a baby blanket. So that's cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it's, it's just been a whirlwind, a whirlwind. So please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Um, and yeah, I, I just hope that they can get this dealt with. I really, I just, mm, you know, it's, it's awful. It's awful. Anyways, guys, uh, I think that's everything for now. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a couple more videos. So you'll probably see me in the same thing, you know. And uh, I will keep you posted. I, when we do our craft fairs, I always do videos and stuff like that. And I found out, you know who you are that I got a, a message saying that one of my Yarnabies who lives here um, on the island is going to come and visit me at the craft fair in Qualicum. Yay! I'm so excited to meet her. Um, and it's it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be great. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll do video footage of the show and or shows. And uh yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay. I love you all and I will talk to you soon. Bye.